Let's learn Penang Hokkien. This series is made possible through the participation of many individuals, both native speakers and non-speakers of Penang Hokkien. They are contributing their voices, not only from Penang but from various locations in the world. This project was initiated at a time when Malaysia was undergoing severe lockdown from COVID-19 pandemic. As such, there was no face-to-face -face interaction. Recordings were done on WhatsApp and sent in to be stitched together. Thank you to everyone involved. What's up everybody? I'm Joshua. I come from New York City, but I am now living in Penang, a city in Malaysia. I work for an American multinational at Bayan La Paz. My friends and I are expats. Let me introduce them to you. Hi, my name is Beatrice. I am from London, but I work for the same company as Joshua. I am Priya. I come from Mumbai. Hi, my name is Jiahao. I am from Taipei. We are here because we want to learn Penang Hokkien. Our teacher is Timothy Tai. The lessons in this series is created by him. Tim is one of several people who are working to preserve and develop Penang Hokkien. He has his own Penang Hokkien dictionary which you can access free on the web. When I come to Penang, I notice that the Chinese people here speak a language that is not taught in school. It is called Penang Hokkien, and it's the Penang variant or dialect of the Hokkien language. In Taipei, we speak Taiwan Hokkien which is quite similar to Penang Hokkien. When I first came to Penang, I was surprised to hear a language I can easily understand. In India where I come from, we speak different languages including Hindi, Tamil and many others. In Mumbai, we speak Marathi. I find it very interesting that Chinese people also speak many languages. But why do the Chinese in Penang speak Penang Hokkien? The Chinese in Penang trace their ancestry to different parts of southern China. Although the majority are Hokkien people, there are also large numbers of Cantonese, Taochu, Hakka, Taishanese, and Hainanese people in Penang. The Hokkien trace their roots to three main cities in Fujian province, Zhangzhou, Xuanzhou, and Xiamen. Each has its own variant of the language. Despite this mix of cultures, the Chinese in Penang have adopted Penang Hokkien as their language of communication. When I was in Kuala Lumpur, I learned that the Chinese there speak Cantonese. So why do the Chinese in Penang speak Penang Hokkien? Where does it come from? The language arrived in this region hundreds of years ago. The Hokkien people were noted seafarers. They went to different ports in Southeast Asia to trade. Then, in the early decades of the Qing dynasty, there was major upheaval in their homeland, resulting in an influx of Hokkien refugees into Southeast Asia. The refugees from Zhangzhou arrived in this region. They populated the area from Phuket in the north to Kedah in the south, and from Kelantan in the east, to Maidan in the west. They brought with them their language, the Zhangzhou variant of Hokkien, which became the base for Penang Hokkien. Josh, since when did you become an expert on Penang Hokkien? I'm actually reading from a script. I decided that since I'm going to be in Penang for some time, I want to know everything about the locals, their culture, their history and their language. What you said about hockey and migration is very interesting. And it's quite similar to Taiwan. Taiwan also received hockey and refugees. Today, the people in Taipei speak a different variant of Taiwan hockey and from the people in Kaohsiung. When the British established Penang Island, hockey and pioneers moved from the peninsula to settle there. In the subsequent centuries, migrants continued to arrive in Penang from various parts of China. By then, the Chengchu variant of Hokkien has become the language of communication among the Chinese in Penang, so later migrants had to learn the language, which became known as Penang Hokkien. As we are learning Penang Hokkien, we thought it would be fun to create this series for others to join. We want to help people learn to use Penang Hokkien to communicate with the locals, whether in the market, at the coffee shops, in the shopping malls, and in various situations. In this series, you will hear Penang Hokkien as spoken by native speakers. By listening to how different people say the words and sentences, you will become more familiar with Penang Hokkien as it is spoken. So join us and together, let's learn Penang Hokkien. Taiji Romanization Before we dive right in to learn Penang Hokkien, let's take a moment to learn to communicate in writing. The Hokkien language existed for hundreds of years as a spoken language. There wasn't much of a need to write it down. If the Chinese in Penang want to write something, they use either English or literary Chinese. 
For over a hundred years of Penang history, English was the language of commerce and was the ticket to white-collar employment. It was only in the 21st century that Mandarin came along, supplanting literary Chinese, and over time eroding the position of English among the Chinese in Penang. The rise of Mandarin, as well as the advancement of telecommunication, pose a challenge to Penang Hokkien. Being a spoken language, it is disadvantaged in an age where people communicate widely on social media, on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Without a written form that is taught in school, Penang Hokkien lost its voice so to speak, being seen as a relic of the past. Intonation Penang Hokkien is a tonal language. That means the meaning of words as well as whole sentences is based on the pitch. In order to make yourself understood, it is essential that you master the tones. Traditionally, the tones in the Hokkien language can be divided into seven or eight. These tones can be simplified to just four, corresponding to the four tones of standard Mandarin. In Taiji romanization, the four tones are numbered, one, two, three, four, and three three. It is essential to recognize each tone in order to pronounce them correctly. Here's an example of the four tones in sequence. Listen carefully as different native speakers read them to you. Ba, 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 ba. 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 Every syllable ends with a tone number. Words comprising more than one syllable are separated by their tone numbers. For example, Lao Tui, Za Ki Tui, Hui Chia Zam. Lao Tui, Za Ki Tui, Hui Chia Zam. Lao Tui, Cha Ki Tui, Hui Chia Zam. Tones 3 and 3 3 sound the same but behave differently. On the other hand, tones 1, 2, 3, and 4 have different pitches but share the same characteristics. We will explain this in more detail in the section on tone sandi. Sounds that require special attention. Some words require your special attention, either because of the specific ways they are spelled or because the sound does not exist in English or Malay. Also, there are some sounds that are very close to each other, differentiated by only a slight difference in spelling. Pay attention to these. The letters AE are pronounced air, as in ESO. Listen to these examples. Be, ke, be, me. Be. Words that start with C and CH require special attention. You need to be able to determine whether it is spelled with C or CH. Listen to these examples. Chu there are both non-nasalized and nasalized syllables in Penang Hokkien. The nasalized ones are spelled with an N inserted within the syllable. Listen to these examples. Chiao Another challenging set of words are those ending in glottal stops and velar stops. To the untrained, they sound almost the same. Listen to these examples. Ah, ah, si, si, 
C C P P A A C C C C P P A A C C C C P P Tone Sandy Aside from intonation The most challenging aspect of learning Penang Hokkien is in mastering tone sandi. Is this what makes people speaking Penang Hokkien sound like they are singing? In a way you are right. That's because in Penang Hokkien, the tones change when words are placed next to one another, creating a feeling that the sentences are being sung. The smallest component of words is called the morpheme. As most words in Penang Hokkien are one syllable, many of the morphemes are also one syllable. The following are examples of morphemes that can also be standalone words. Chia ba gu lang kang Two or more morphemes can be placed together to form new words. For example, gu and ba. When placed together, the result is not gu ba, but rather gu ba. The word gu has changed to when it takes on another morpheme behind it. This change in tone is known as tone sandi. Similarly, the word for treshaw is created by fusing the word for people in front of the word for car to create people car. The word for couple is formed by fusing the word for husband in front of the word for wife to create husband wife. Thankfully, The rule of tone sandi in Penang Hokkien is uniform and easy to remember. Morphemes that are originally tone 1 and 2 sandi to become tone 3. For example, ang and gu sandi to become ang and gu respectively. Morphemes that are originally tone 3 and 4 sandi to become tone 1. By the same rule, words like am and kang sandi to am and kang when another word or morpheme is affixed behind them, like this am kang then kang pi. Before a word sand his, it is in the citation tone. That's the tone of the word is taken straight from the dictionary. The word can comprise more than one morpheme, for example, teng lang, which is derived from teng and lang. The word will further sandi its final morpheme if placed next to another word, for example, Teng lang hi. This rule applies to whole sentences too. Take a look at this example. Wa ai ki jo kang. The words on their own are Wa ai ki jo and kang. Note that all the words sandi except the last one. Words that usually sandi include verbs, adjectives, and classifiers. Nouns do not sandi unless they act as modifiers to another noun. Among pronouns, wa and lu sandi while the rest don't. Adverbs and particles generally don't sandi. As a recap, morphemes and words sandi their final syllable. If the final syllable is in tone 1 or 2, it sandis to tone 3. If it is in tone 3 or 4, it sandis to tone 1. On top of that, there's a group of words that do not sandi. That's right. If a word is in tone 3 3, it does not sandi even when placed before another word or morpheme. For example, lao and gu don't sandi, as in lao lang and gu chu. Tone 3 3 words sound the same as tone 3 words but are unique in that, unlike tones 1, 2, 3, or 4, they do not sandi. The Penang Hokkien Dictionary. The Penang Hokkien Dictionary is an online dictionary compiled by Timothy Tai with input from members of the Learn Penang Hokkien Facebook group. It was created in 2013 and has been updated regularly since then. The dictionary lists words and phrases with definition in English and Malay, along with Chinese characters and example sentences. Users may search the dictionary in English, Malay, Chinese as well as various romanized forms of Hokkien. To use the dictionary, Select whether you are doing your search using Penang Hokkien, or English, Malay, Chinese, and other Romanized Hokkien. Input your search in the search box, and click search. The dictionary will display a list of relevant results. Using the same search box, you may also search using Malay, 
or even Chinese characters. All results include audio, so you may listen to how a word is pronounced in Penang Hokkien, for example. To search for words in Penang Hokkien Taiji Romanization, select the Penang Hokkien search box and key in your search word. If you are not sure of the correct tone number, leave it out. The dictionary will display a whole list of results. If you do know the tone number, include it, and the dictionary will narrow down your search. For words of more than one syllable, if you do not know the correct tone number, input each syllable leaving space in between. The dictionary will list a result with possible tone numbers included. Basic words. Now it's time we learn some basic words in Penang Hokkien. Let's start with the pronouns. You will hear the pronouns spoken by different native speakers. Hua, Lu, Yi, Walang, Lu Lang, Ilang, Wang, Lang, Lang Lang, Yang. Note that he, she, and it are all pronounced e, but are spelled differently. Hua, Lu, Yi, Walang, Lu Lang, Ilang, Wang, Lan, Lan Lang, Yang. Wa. Lu, Yi, Walang, Lu Lang, Ilang, Wang, Lang, Lang Lang, Yang. Wa, Lu, Yi, Walang, Lu Lang, Ilang, Wang, Lang, Lan Lang, Yang. The next group of words to learn are the demonstratives. These words are challenging in that they sound very alike. A slight change in tone is enough to change the meaning. So listen carefully as various native speakers say them to you. Chile Next, we learn the question words. We will show you how to use them to form questions, but for now, just get to know them. Hami, Jujui, Dalo, DC, Hamisu, Anzoa. Hami, Jujui, Dalo, DC, Hamisu, Anzoa. Hami, Jujui, Dalo, DC, Hamisu, Anzoa. Hami Jujui Talo Tisi Hamisu Achoa. Before we start to learn numbers, it is worth knowing that many words in Penang Hokkien have two sets of pronunciations. This is something that a lot of people, including native speakers, are not aware of. The first set is called everyday pronunciation or colloquial reading. This is the pronunciation of words that you would encounter in oral conversations in casual settings. The second set is called book pronunciation or literary reading. This is the pronunciation used for reading written material as well as for formal discourse. The literary reading is today a legacy of time past when literary Chinese was used for written communication across China. Being a relative latecomer to writing, when the Hokkien had to commit their communication in written form, they resorted to borrowing from other Chinese languages that are ahead of them in developing their written communication. As a result, when you hear Hokkien words pronounced in the literary register, you might think many of the words sound a lot like Cantonese or Mandarin. Penang Hokkien is a vernacular, 
oral variant of the Hokkien language. As such, most of the words come from the colloquial register. However, every once in a while, you do stumble upon words from the literary register. And this, you will encounter, when you learn numbers. With that said, numbers can be pronounced in the colloquial as well as literary reading. The majority you will encounter comes from the colloquial register. Now let's listen as different native speakers read the numbers in the colloquial register. Kong, ji, no, sa, si, go, la, chi, be, gao, za. Kong, ji, no, sa, si, go, la, chi, be, gao, za. Kong, ji, no, sa, si, go, la, chi, be, gao, Kong chi no sa si go la chi be gao cha. Kong chi no sa si go la chi be gao cha. Eleven to twenty. Jap eat, jap ji, jap sa, jap si, jap go, jap la, jap chi, jap be. จับอีดจับจีจับซอจับซีจับโกจับลักจับฉีดจับเปจับเก้าจีจับจับอีดจับจีจับซอจับซีจับโกจับลักจับฉีดจับเปจับเก้าจีจับจับอีดจับจีจ
一百十一，一百十五，一百二十，百二，一百三十三，一百五十，百五，一百七十五，一百九十九，一百零一，一百零二，一百十，百十，一百十一，一百十五，一百二十，百二，一百三十三。一百五十八五，一百七十五，一百九十九，一百零一，一百零二，一百十，百十，一百十一，一百十五，一百二十，百二，一百三十三，一百五十，百五，一百七十五，一百九十九。Numbers two hundred to nine hundred and ninety-nine. 六百，六百零一。六百零二，六百一，六百二十，六百二，六百二十二，三百三十，三百三，四百零五，四百五十，四百五，六百零九，七百八十，七百八，九百九十九，六百，六百零一。六百零二，六百一，六百二十，六百二，六百二十二，三百三十，三百三，四百零五，四百五十，四百五，六百零九，七百八十，七百八。九百九十九，六百六百零一，六百零二，六百一，六百二十，六百二，六百二十二，三百三十，三百三，四百零五，四百五十，四百五，六百零九，七百八十，七百八。九百九十九，五百，五百零一，五百零二，五百十，五百一，五百二十，五百二，五百二十二，三百三十，三百三。四百零五，四百五十，四百五，六百零九，七百八十，七百八，九百九十九。Numbers one thousand to nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. 一千，一千零一，一千十，一千一百，千一。五千五百，五千二，六千三百零五，九千九百九十九。一千，一千零一，一千十，一千一百，千一，五千五百，五千二，六千三百零五，九千九百九十九。一千，一千零一。一千十，一千一百，千一，五千五百，五千二，六千三百，空个，九千九百，九十九。一千，一千空一，一千十，一千一百，千一，五千五百，五千二，六千三百，空个。九千九百九十九。And lastly, the numbers ten thousand to one hundred and twenty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-six. 十千一万，十千五百，一百二十千，一百二十三千，四百五十六。十千一万，十千五百，一百二十千，一百二十三千，四百五十六。十千，七万，十千六百，七百二十千，七百二十三千，四百五十六。十千，一万，十
十千六百，一百二十千，一百二十三千四百五十六。Before we continue to our next segment, let's take a moment to learn ordinal numbers in Penang Hokkien. Te i te i te sa te si te go te la te chi te pe te kao te cha te boi. Te i te i te sa te si te go te la te chi te pe te kao te cha te boi. Te i te i te sa te si. Te go, te lap, te chit, te pe, te kau, te zap, te bui. Te i, te ji, te sa, te si, te go, te lap, te chit, te pe, te kau, te zap, te bui. Next we learn money. The words appearing here include Lui Which means cent as well as money itself. Buat A unit of measure for cent in multiples of ten. And Ka Which means ringgit. Lui Bo lui, u lui, chi lui, chap go lui, poat, chi poat, no poat, go poat. Lui, bo lui, u lui, chi lui, chap go lui, poat, chi poat, no poat, go poat. Lui, bo lui, u lui, chi lui, chap go lui, poat, chi poat, no poat, go poat. Lui, bo lui, u lui, chi lui, chap go lui, poat, chi poat, no poat, go poat. Kho, chi kho, kho it, kho ji, chi kho chap go lui, chi kho chap go, chi kho ji chap go lui, chi kho ji go. Kho, chi kho, kho it. ขอจีจิคอจับกอลุยจิคอจับกอจิคอจิกอคอจิคอคออีจิคอจีจิคอจับกอลุยจิคอจับกอจิคอจีจับกอลุยจิคอจีกอคอจิคอคออีจิคอ
一点二一甲一方米多，一个呾二点三四呾。一方尺一千五百方尺，一呾甲一点二呾甲一方米多，一呾甲二点三四呾甲。一方尺一千五百方尺，一呾甲一点二呾甲一方米多。一ヘクタール、二点三四ヘクタール。The metric system is now commonly used in Penang for volume. The most common units of measurement are the milliliter and the liter. 八 ml 一点五 liter， 一八 ml 一点五 liter， 一八 ml 一点五 liter， 一八 ml 一点五 liter。Next, we learn weights. Although the metric system is now widely used in Penang, there are occasions when you will still come across the imperial system, such as pound and ounces, and even the traditional Chinese system of cutty and tail. One gram, one kg, one kilo, one pound, one ounce, one kin. 一鸟，一斤罗有七千 gram， 一斤有十六 ounce， 一斤有十六鸟。一 gram， 一 kg， 一斤罗，一斤，一 ounce， 一斤，一鸟，一斤罗有七千 gram， 一斤有十六 ounce， 一斤有十六鸟。一 gram， 一 kg， 一斤罗。一盘，一盎司，一斤，一鸟，一斤罗有几千 gram， 一盘有十六盎司，一斤有十六鸟。一 gram， 一 kg， 一斤罗，一盘，一盎司，一斤，一鸟，一斤罗有几千 gram， 一盘有十六盎司。Next, we move on to time. Penang Hokkien has a unique way of expressing minutes. The numbers on the face of the clock represent multiples of five minutes. This is how the minutes are expressed in informal situations. Listen to the examples. Timiao,几分,几分钟,几里几,哪里几,三里几,八里几。Timiao,几分,几分钟,几里几,哪里几,三里几,八里几。Timiao,几分,几分钟,几里几,哪里几,三里几,八里几。Gui,几分钟有几
几点钟？一点钟，半点钟，一点钟半，五点钟。一点钟有几分？一点钟有六十分。一点钟有十二个字，几点钟？一点、二点、四点、十二点、几点？一点、二点、四点、十二点、几点？一点、二点、四点、十二点、几点？一点、二点、四点、十二点、几点？一点一个字，一点零五分。二点五厘二，二点二十五分，三点几，五点几，六点十一分，七点半，八点四厘二，十一点半，十二点三十七分。一点一厘二，一点零五分，二点五厘二。二点二十五分，三点几，五点几，六点十一分，七点半，八点四十二，十一点半，十二点三十七分。一点七厘二，一点零五分，二点五厘二。二点二十五分，三点几，五点几，六点十一分，七点半，八点四厘二，十一点半，十二点三十七分。一点，一厘二，一点零五分，二点五厘二。二点二十五分，三点几，五点几，六点十一分，七点半，八点四十二，十一点半，十二点三十七分。早起，即中昼，日头，下晡，暗暝，半暝。早起，日中昼。日头下晡暗暝半暝，早起一中昼，日头下晡暗暝半暝。早起一中昼，日头下晡暗暝半暝。早起六点，早起九点半，下晡五点，努力日。下晡六点半，暗暝十点。早起六点，早起九点半，下晡五点五厘二，下晡六点半，暗暝十点。早起六点，早起九点半，下晡五点五厘二，下晡六点半，暗暝十点。早起六点。早起九点半，下晡五点五厘二，下晡六点半，暗暝十点。一日半日几日，九日半，一日有几点钟？一日有二十四点钟。一日半日几日，九日半，一日有几点钟？一日有二十四点钟，一日半日几日，九日半，一日有几点钟，一日有二十四点钟，一日半日几日，九日半，一日有几点钟，一日有二十四点钟。一礼拜，一礼拜有几日？一礼拜有七日，几礼拜？一礼拜，一礼拜有几日？一礼拜有七日，几礼拜？一礼拜，一礼拜有几日？一礼拜有七日，几礼拜？一礼拜
，一礼拜有几日？一礼拜有七日，几礼拜？七月，七月日，七个月，半个月，七月半，几个月？七月，七月日，七个月，半个月，七月半，几个月？一月，一月日，一个月，半月，一月半，几月？一月，一月日，一个月，半月，一月半，几月？一年，一年有十二个月，一年有几礼拜？一年有五十几礼拜，一年有几日？一年有。三百六六十个字，半年有几字？半年有六个字，几年？一年，一年有十二个月，一年有几礼拜？一年有五十几礼拜，一年有几日？一年有三百六十个字，半年有几个字？半年有六个字，几年？一年，一年有十二个月，一年有几礼拜？一年有五十二礼拜，一年有几日？一年有三百六十个日，半年有几个日？半年有六个日，几年？一年。一年有十二个月，一年有几礼拜？一年有五十二礼拜，一年有几日？一年有三百六十五日，半年有几个日？半年有六个月，几年？拜一、拜二。拜三、拜四、拜五、拜六、礼拜、拜几？拜一、拜二、拜三、拜四、拜五、拜六、礼拜、拜几？拜一、拜二、拜三、拜四、拜五、拜六、礼拜、拜几？拜一、拜二、拜三、拜四。拜五、拜六、礼拜、拜几？一个、几个、三个、四个、五个、六个、七个、八个、九个、十个、十一个、十二个、几个、几个节？一个、二个、三个、四个、五个、六个、七个。八月、九月、十月、十一月、十二月，几月？几月日？一月、二月、三月、四月、五月、六月、七月、八月、九月、十月、十一月、十二月，几月？几月日？一月。二月、三月、四月、五月、六月、七月、八月、九月、十月、十一月、十二月，几月？几月日？今日、今日、今仔日、今暝、古早、下久。今日。今日、今仔日、今暝、古早、下久。今日、今日、今仔日、今暝、古早、下久。今日、今日、今仔日、今暝、古早、下久。马尼亚、马尼亚古、东京、他那。马尼亚、马尼亚古、东京、他那。马尼亚、马尼亚古、东京、他那。马尼亚，马尼亚古，东京，他那。一日，一礼拜，一个，一年，一夜，单一夜。一日，一礼拜，一个，一年，一夜，单一夜。一日，一
，一礼拜，一个月，一年，一下，等一下。七日，一礼拜，一个月，一年，一下，等一下。一班，一个月，一摆，一斗。一班一月一摆一斗，一班一月一摆一斗，一班一月一摆一斗。下日下礼拜下月下年下月下摆下斗。下日下礼拜下月下年下月下摆下斗。下日下礼拜下月下年下月下摆。去到，去接，去接，去过，去年，去过，去拜，去到。顶日、顶一日、顶礼拜、顶个月、顶几日、顶年、顶拜、顶到、顶久。顶日、顶一日、顶礼拜、顶个月、顶几日、顶年、顶拜、顶到、顶久。顶日。顶一日，顶礼拜，顶个月，顶几日，顶年，顶拜，顶到，顶久。顶日，顶一日，顶礼拜，顶个月，顶几日，顶年，顶拜，顶到，顶久。妈仔，妈仔。下礼拜，下季，下个季，明年，下季，下摆，下到。明仔，明仔，下礼拜，下季，下个季，明年，下季，下摆，下到。明仔，明仔，下礼拜，下季，下个季，明年，下季，下摆，下到。明仔，明仔。下礼拜，下季，下个季，明年，下季，下摆，下斗。后日，后礼拜，后季，后个季，后季，后摆，后斗。后日，后礼拜，后季，后个季，后季，后摆，后斗。后日，后礼拜，后季，后个季，后季。后摆，后斗，后日，后礼拜，后季，后个月，后季，后摆，后斗。大大日，大大礼拜，大大月，大大年，大大季，大大摆，大大斗。大大日，大大礼拜，大大月，大大年，大大季，大大摆，大大斗。大大日，大大礼拜。大大过，大大年，大大过，大大拜，大大到。大大日，大大礼拜，大大过，大大年，大大过，大大拜，大大到。八日八过，八拜八到。八日八过，八拜八到。八日八过，八拜八到。八日。八过，八拜，八斗。旧年、老年前、十年前、明年、老年后、十年后。旧年、老年前、十年前、明年、老年后、十年后。旧年、老年前、十年前、明年、老年后、十年后。旧年。六年前，十年前，明年，六年后，十年后，四十个度，九十度，七百八十度，三百六十度。四十个度，九十度，七百八十度，三百六十度。四十个度，九十度，七百八十度，三百六十度。四十个度，九十度，七百八十度，三百六十度，度三十度 Celsius， 八十六度 Fahrenheit， 几度？度三十度 Celsius， 八十六度。
Fahrenheit Huy to To Sa chap to Celsius Pe chap lak to Fahrenheit Quy to To Sa chap to Celsius Pe chap lak to Fahrenheit Quy to Wan Wan jia chiu Wan to chiu Khi Khi tit tit Wan Wan jia chiu Wan to chiu Khi Khi tit tit Wan Wan jia chiu Wan to chiu Khi Khi tit tit Wan Wan jia chiu Wan to chiu Khi Khi tit tit All points of the compass are stated in English as north, south, east and west. In Penang Hokkien, they are stated as east, west, south, north. East, in the colloquial pronunciation, is called Tang. While in the literary pronunciation it is called Tong. West, in the colloquial pronunciation, is called Sai. While in the literary pronunciation it is called Si. South, in both the colloquial and literary pronunciations, is called Lam. North, in the colloquial pronunciation, is called Pa. While in the literary pronunciation it is called Pa. Part of speech. Now we learn the various category of words you will use to construct sentences in Penang Hokkien. Lai, Ki, Gya, Zhou, Gong, Tia, Jia, Lim. 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 Ti lai liao, lu ki ta lo, wa kia ban ban. Lu zhou ha mi, yi gong ha mi, wa lang tian yi, yi jia bun yi. Lu lim go bi bo. Yi lai liao, lu ki ta lo, wa kia ban ban. Lu zhou ha mi, yi gong ha mi, wa lang tian yi, yi jia bun yi. Lu lim go bi bo. Yi lai liao, lu ki ta lo, wa kia ban ban. Lu zhou ha mi, yi gong ha mi, wa lang tian yi, yi jia bun yi, lu lim go bi bo. Yi lai liao, lu ki ta lo, wa kia ban ban, lu zhou ha mi, yi gong ha mi, wa lang tian yi, yi jia bun yi, lu lim go bi bo. Next. We learn auxiliary verbs, also called modal verbs. These are verbs used to indicate modality, that is to say, the ability, permission, request, capacity, suggestions, order, obligation, or advice. Some of these verbs have shades of meaning that are very close to one another. The best way to get to know them is through familiarity. I, my, boy, suka, bosuka. Tio boy. I, my, boy, suka, bo suka, tio boy. I, my, boy, suka, bo suka, tio boy. I, my, boy, suka, bo suka, tio boy. Wa ai lai, i mai lai, i lang boi lai, i suka ki jia hong, lu tio boi jia yo. Wa ai lai. Yi mai lai, yi lang bui lai, yi suka ki jia hong, lu tiu bui jia yu. Wa ai lai, yi mai lai, yi lang bui lai, yi suka ki jia hong, lu tiu bui jia yu. Wa ai lai, yi mai lai, yi lang bui lai, yi suka ki jia hong, lu tiu bui jia yu. E, B, E. A sai, B sai, Eng kai, Ka, Eng ka. A, B, A sai, B sai, Eng kai, Ka, Eng ka. A, B, A sai, B sai, Eng kai, Ka, Eng ka. A, B, A sai, B sai, Eng kai, Ka, Eng ka. E, B, Wa be hen tiu, lu e sai jip lai, lu be sai jie jie ping, lu lang eng kai cha cha lai, 
伊家去，我唔加讲。伊会背，我袂恨得。汝会使入来，汝袂使坐这边。汝人应该查查来，伊家去，我唔加讲。伊会背，我袂嫌着。汝会塞入来，汝袂塞坐这边，汝人应该早早来。伊敢去，我唔敢讲。伊会背，我袂嫌着。汝会塞入来，汝袂塞坐这边，汝人应该早早来。伊敢去。Moving on, we learn the conjunctions. Note that ka and ka sound the same but spelled differently. While ingui and ingui are the same word with two variants to the pronunciation. Ka ka tapi tansi nasi asi ingui ingui soi. Ka ka tapi tansi nasi asi. ไงอินเนยโซอีกากากาตาปีตันสีนาสีอาสีเอ็งเกวอิงเกวโซอีกากากาตาปีตันสีนาสีอาสีอิงเกวอิงเกวโซอีกว่ากาอีโฮเป็
ลูเอเอตัวที่เชียร์เอเอเต้ลูเอปิงยูกว่าบินตันลูเฮเลอาเอลายบินอูจินเจแชว่าเบคว่าเตียวตุยบินชูว่าสุกาเจเชียร์
Kong ho ho, Kong ho ho la, Kong ho ho la. Lai. This particle is used to emphasize a question. Lai, hami, hami lai, sim si i e ang, sim si i e ang lai. Hami, hami lai, sim si i e ang, sim si i e ang lai. Hami, hami lai, sim si i e ang, sim si i e ang lai. Hami, hami lai, sim si i e ang, sim si i e ang lai. Liao, Liao, and boy. The particle Liao means already, while Liao means finished. They are both pronounced the same way. Boy is used to turn statements into questions. Ka boy, hua jia ba, hua jia ba liao, hua jia liao, hua jia ka liao, jia boy, jia ba boy. Hua jia ba, hua jia ba liao, hua jia liao, hua jia ka liao, jia boy, jia ba boy. Wa jia ba, wa jia ba liao, wa jia liao, wa jia ka liao, jia boi, jia ba boi. Lo, ban yi liao, ban yi liao lo, yi tui liao, yi tui liao lo. Lo, this particle is used to emphasize a statement. ปันกีเลี้ยวปันกีเลี้ยวโลอิตุยเลี้ยวอิตุยเลี้ยวโลปันกีเลี้ยวปันกีเลี้ยวโลอิตุยเลี้ยวอิตุยเลี้ยวโ
English has an inverted construction with of the but that does not exist in Penang Hokkien. ว่าเอลูเออีเอวะลังเอลังเอลันลังเออีลังเออีอังเอว่าเอลูเออีเอวะลังเอลังเอลันลังเออีลังเอยังเอว่าเอลูเออีเอวะลังเอลังเอล
জিতে লি হে বুসা কুই লেব লি ตียวเตียวคุ้นเต้งเจียบ่วยเตียวเตียวคุ้นเต้งเจียบ่วยจิเตียวจ้าหนอเตียวชูเล้งสาคุ้นสวาจิเต้งเชียที่เจียเก้
甘榜，归甘榜的囡仔，伊要阿毛糖，互归甘榜的囡仔。班，这班的学生，这班的学生真乱。白，一排的厝，一排的厝着烧。甘榜，归甘榜的囡仔，伊要阿毛糖，互归甘榜的囡仔。班，一班的学生，一班的学生真乱。一排一排的厝，一排的厝着烧。甘榜归甘榜的囡仔，伊买阿毛糖，好归甘榜的囡仔。When things are itemized, the noun and its classifier can be inverted. In the inverted form, the possessive particle is not used, while and is optional. 好啊，三百倍，奴隶鸡腿加一包的果皮冰。好啊，肥沙坡，鸡腿糯地，高皮冰一包。好啊，三半肥，糯地鸡腿，加一包的高皮冰。好啊，肥沙坡，鸡腿糯地，高皮冰一包。好啊，三半肥，糯地鸡腿，加一包高皮冰。好啊，肥沙坡，鸡腿糯地，高皮冰一包。好哇，三半半，糯地鸡腿，加一包的高皮冰。好哇，半三半，鸡腿糯地，高皮冰一包。伊买十几篓的米，一几篓的糖，加半斤的盐。伊买米十几篓，糖一几篓，加盐半斤。伊买十几篓的米，一几篓的糖。加半斤的盐，伊买米十几箩，糖一几箩，加盐半斤。伊买十几箩的米，一几箩的糖，加半斤的盐。伊买米十几箩，糖一几箩，加盐半斤。伊买十几箩的米，一几箩的糖，加半斤的盐。伊买米十几箩。糖一几箩，加盐半斤。大桌顶有一罐的牛奶，三条纸，加一支铅笔。大桌顶有牛奶一罐，纸三条，加铅笔一支。大桌顶有一罐的牛奶，三条纸，加一支的铅笔。大桌顶有牛奶一罐，纸三条，加铅笔一支。大桌顶有一罐的牛奶。三条纸，甲一支铅笔。大桌顶有牛奶一罐，纸三条，甲铅笔一支。大桌顶有一罐的牛奶，三条纸，甲一支铅笔。大桌顶有牛奶一罐，纸三条，甲铅笔一支。Adjectives. Adjectives are words used to describe nouns. In Penang Hokkien, when the adjective modifies a noun, it is placed in front of the noun and its sand is. If the adjective appears behind the noun, it is in the citation form. Sin, why sa sin, why sin sa? Gu, chicken chu, gu, chicken gu chu. Sin, why sa sin, why sin sa? Gu, chicken chu, gu, chicken gu chu. Sin, why sa sin, why sin sa? Gu, chicken chu, gu. ลาวเฮเลจาบอลาวเลี้ยวจุยจุยสีเฮเลลาวจาบอลเซียวเลียนจิเคนหลังเซียวเลียนจิเคนเซียวเลียนหลังลาวเฮเลจาบอลลาว
最最是迄个老查某、少年，一天人少年，一天少年人。长，伊行个路长，伊行长路。短，伊个头毛短，伊个短头毛。长，伊行个路长，伊行长路。短，伊个头毛短，伊个短头毛。长，伊行个路长，伊行长路。短，伊个头毛短，伊个短头毛。长，伊行个路长，伊行长路，短，伊个头毛短，伊个短头毛。热，迄个风热，迄个热风，冷，迄个水冷，迄个冷水。热，迄个风热，迄个热风，冷，迄个水冷，迄个冷水。抓，迄个风抓，迄个抓风，冷，迄个水冷，迄个冷水。抓，迄个风抓，迄个抓风，冷，迄个水冷，迄个冷水。十、八、八、两、梅、车、蓝、蓝木纳。水红、金、高高、金、银、乌、白、红、黄、青、蓝、蓝木纳、水红、金、高高、金、银、色、乌、白、红、黄、青。蓝、蓝木纳、水红、金、高高、金、银、色、乌、白、红、灰、青、蓝、蓝木纳、水红、金、高高、金、银。伊个新车白色，白色个车开垃圾。今日个天真蓝，蓝天个日真热。伊个手指金色也是金色，伊买金色个手指毋是银色个，伊个手指金色特别毋是金个。伊个新车白色，白色个车开垃圾。今日的天真蓝，蓝天的日真热。伊的手指金色也是金色，伊买金色的手指毋是银色的，伊的手指金色特别毋是金的。伊的新车白色，白色的车快垃圾。今日的天真蓝。蓝天的日真热，伊的手指金色也是银色，伊买金色的手指毋是银色的，伊的手指金色，特别毋是金的。伊的新车白色，白色的车快垃圾。今日的天真蓝，蓝天的日真热。伊个手指是金色还是金色？伊买金色个手指毋是金色个，伊买个手指是金色，特别毋是金个。Adverbs are used to modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. They are usually placed in front of the word they modify. 金、金价、高、高在、干那。金、金价、高。高在干那，真真正高高在干那，真真正高高在干那。我真枵，伊真正爱困，伊会晓讲话，我高在枵了。
，我干那会晓食，袂晓煮。我真枵，伊真正爱困，伊会晓顾门，我搁再枵了，我干那会晓食，袂晓煮。我真枵，伊真正爱困，伊会晓顾门，我搁再枵了，我干那会晓食，袂晓煮。我真枵，伊真正爱困，伊会晓阁问，我阁再枵了，我干那会晓食，袂晓煮。Reduplication is repeating the same word. This is a common feature in Penang Hokkien and is used for two purposes: a to show a slight degree, and b to turn an adjective into an adverb. When showing a slight degree of an adjective, reduplication corresponds with adding ish in English. Tin lam, hai lam lam, yi pui, yi e bo pui pui, wa e tao mo o, tin o o. Tin lam, hai lam lam, yi pui, yi e bo pui pui, wa e tao mo o, tin o o. Tin lam, hai lam lam, yi pui, yi e bo pui pui, wa e tao mo o, tin o o. Tin lam, hai lam lam, yi pui, yi e bo pui pui, wa e tao mo o, tin o o. Adjectives can be turned into adverbs by reduplication. This corresponds to adding li. In English, 伊个车快，伊换车快快，伊慢，伊做物件慢慢，伊个查某囝水，伊个查某囝穿水水。伊个车快，伊换车快快，伊慢，伊做物件慢慢，伊个查某囝水，伊个查某囝穿水水。伊个车快，伊换车快快，伊慢，伊做物件慢慢，伊个查某囝水，伊个查某囝穿水水。伊个车快，伊换车快快，伊慢，伊做物件慢慢，伊个查某囝水，伊个查某囝穿水水。Simple sentences in Penang Hokkien comprise subject, verb, and direct object, which is a noun. In such sentences, the verb is in Sandhi form. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. Sentences with indirect object usually has a construction comprising subject, verb, direct object, and the indirect object, which is preceded by ha. The word ha translates as for or to. He takes the ball for me. I buy the ball for you. My friend takes the ball for me. He takes the ball for me. I buy the ball for you. 我的朋友寄一本册给我。伊踢球给我，我买饭给汝。我的朋友寄一本册给我。伊踢球给我，我买饭给汝。我的朋友寄一本册给我。Sentences with indirect objects can also have an inverted word order comprising subject, verb, indirect object, and direct object. In this construction, the word ha is not needed before the indirect object. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. I buy the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. He takes the ball. He buys the ball. I buy the ball. My friend takes the ball. In the active voice, the subject is the cause or initiator of the action. Dam dam, 
做这个工，接来。这点点，做这个工，接来。这点点，做这个工，接来。这点点，做这个工，接来。In the passive voice, the subject is the recipient of the action. The cause or initiator of the action is placed after the subject, preceded by ha. ตอลองเจียมเตียมตอลองโจจิเลกังช้าจิบไหลตอลองเจียมเตียมตอลองโจจิเลกังช้าจิบไหลตอลองเจียมเตียมตอลองโจจิเลกังช้าจิบไหลตอลองเจียมเตียมตอลองโจจิเลกังช้าจิบไหล In the active voice, the subject is the cause or initiator of the action. Jiting moto long wai chia, sin se me i bi pang ting wa. Jiting moto long wai chia, sin se me i bi pang ting wa. Jiting moto long wai chia, sin se me i bi pang ting wa. Jiting moto long wai chia. Xin xe mẹ y, bị phăng tiền quá. In the passive voice, the subject is the recipient of the action. The cause or initiator of the action is placed after the subject, preceded by ha. Wa e chia ho chi ting mo to lo, y ho xin xe mẹ, wa ho bị phăng tiền. Wa e chia ho chi ting mo to lo, y ho xin xe mẹ, wa ho bị phăng tiền. Wai chia ho chi ting mo to long, yi ho xin xe me, wa ho bi pang ting. Wai chia ho chi ting mo to long, yi ho xin xe me, wa ho bi pang ting. If the cause or initiator of the action is left out, add tiu in front of the verb. Wai chia tiu long, yi tiu me, wa tiu ting. Wai chia tiu long. Yi tiu me, wa tiu ting. Wai chia tiu long. Yi tiu me, wa tiu ting. Wai chia tiu long. Yi tiu me, wa tiu ting. This concludes the grammar section of Let's Learn Penang Hokkien, which brings us to the end of this video. The next section, dealing with dialogues, will be in the next video. We thank you for listening. Feel free to replay this video and pause at any chapter as many times as needed. Join us at the Learn Penang Hokkien Facebook group and make use of the free Penang Hokkien dictionary to look up words and expand your vocabulary. I would like to thank all the voice contributors who have helped me in this project. Do bear with me if you come across any mistakes in this video. My apologies if there should be any. What you have here is the Penang Hokkien that I know, and I hope that through this endeavor, I can help to preserve and develop my mother tongue into a written language for modern use. Thank you for watching the Learn Penang Hokkien YouTube channel. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we'll see you again soon. Have a nice day.